your friends. Welcome to MICE TV. We are here in Gurugram attending the 23rd Asia Pacific Optometric Conference. And today we have a very special guest here, Dr. Rajiv Prasad. Dr. Rajiv Prasad is Vice President of Asia Pacific Council of Optometry. He is also Secretary of Indian Optometric Association and he's on the Board of Directors for World Council of Optometry. Welcome to MICE TV, Dr. Prasad. Thank you, Ruchi, for having me here and thanks to MICE TV. Today we are going to start off by talking about how the event is going to revitalize and inspire the eye care professionals from all over the globe. The theme of this conference is revitalized and inspired. The way uh, post-COVID the entire concepts has changed, we are more on screen, the problems which is going to a different direction, the generation is changing in various aspects. We just wanted you know, to revitalize and make sure that the current innovation, we wanted to share those things will with all the group people, all the optometrist clinicians throughout the Asia Pacific will be attending this conference. So Dr. Prasad, please tell us how the societies in optometry are meeting the unmet needs in eye care. The role of optometrists throughout the world is really crucial. In terms, for an example, if I take India, India has such a huge population and the current figures, you know, the eye care providers, ophthalmologists in the country is 26,000 as per the record of all India ophthalmological society. So definitely these 26,000 people cannot serve the eye care needs of 140 million people. So the role of optometrists is so huge. The current uh, WHO World Health Organization figures says that we have 2.2 billion people who is blind or visually impaired. And we also know that half of them, more than half of them, can be avoidable. The leading cause of blindness definitely goes with cataract and refractive error. So refractive error definitely is one area where optometrist has a major role to play, I would say 80 to 90 percent. We also know that you were a part of the world's largest congregation where 500,000 eye care tests were performed. Could you share with us your experience about bringing so many eye care professionals together? Oh, sure. I mean, that was a wonderful experience. It was 2019. India, world's largest human congregation is Kumbh Mela, where, you know, more than 500,000 people come every day and take a holy dip in Gang Ganga, River Ganga, and it happens every 12 years. So we thought of taking this as an opportunity because you have a large number of people around, so you don't have to go everywhere and, you know, provide the services. So we created, you know, kind of a <clears throat> clinical setup within that campus, a huge campus. And in almost less than two months time, we could do, a, you know, screening of over 350, uh, more, more than 500,000 people. Whereas more than 150,000 people received glasses. All prescription glasses were done on site because we know that, you know, People came for eye checkup, they went for a holy dip, and after two hours they came down, they want to take glasses and go. We can't expect them to come next day. So it was a challenge, but it was a wonderful experience. Believe me, uh, that congregation has actually showed how just a pair of glasses can give happiness. There are people who just can't see well. They also can't afford to go to eye care practitioners and get the services. We are so blessed to have good eyes and good vision. We can see well. There's a large number of people who's deprived of this good vision just because they don't have money to pay for a pair of glasses. We had uh, over uh, three to four hundred uh, hundred ophthalmologists joining us to volunteer, over 800 optometrists joining us to volunteer, and each and every person stepping in should get the same kind of and proper services and the same quality of glasses. I think that's fantastic to know, and it was a commendable effort from your team. Moving on to the next one. At Medium Eyes, we believe in bridging the gap between optometry and ophthalmology. Right. And uh, what are your thoughts about that? These two shores work together. We can definitely ma make uh, eye care industry a better place. It is actually a teamwork. If at all we identify something, we refer it to the right people and ophthalmologists are the people to take care of the diseases part and rest all the other stuff. In case that is not getting catered, and in case the vision or the disease is not improving. So again, it come back to us through low vision. Okay, now, you know, we can provide low vision services at the end. So it is actually a teamwork. And together, if we work, I think we can definitely uh, meet the meet, unmet need. And we can definitely make sure that every individual should get proper eye care services. 
and we have to create positive awareness. So we should work on preventive care rather than actually going into the diseases more. Diseases make you fear. That creates a fear more than actual awareness. Thank you, Dr. Prasad, for your time with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me here. It was absolutely such a pleasure. I mean, thanks to Media Mice and helping the world to, you know, in terms of creating awareness in eye care. Thank you. So that was Dr. Prasad, and we look forward to produce more innovative and creative content at MICE TV, and we look forward to see you at the future conferences. Stay tuned for more.